Fryer, and this is an episode for Sarah Fryer's International Cooking Show on a favorite breakfast recipe of our family called Huevos a la Mexicana, which basically are scrambled eggs that you combine with onion, a little jalapeno, some tomato, and then serve them in hot fresh tortillas. I'll show you first the ingredients that you're going to need. Um, of course, you're going to want eggs, and depending on how many you're preparing for, we're going to cook for four today. So we've got about seven eggs that we've prepared. Um, one of the most important things for this recipe is, of course, the jalapenos. And it's very important that, uh, at least for our tastes, you uh, cut the jalapenos up, and before you dice them, you actually remove all the seeds because the seeds are where all the heat is. So if you do this, it adds really good flavor, but it's not going to be too hot, especially if you're going to be serving this for kids. We also will um, use onion, and so we've cut um, just uh, a couple slices really off of uh, a big onion, and then we've got some tomatoes. I'll go ahead and just dice one, and when you are dicing, it's really important to have a great knife, and I like to, if I can, go ahead and do the dicing and the preparation prior to getting everything um, started on the stove. Of course, I don't always use nice little dishes like this to have everything organized, but if you can have everything kind of diced and prepared, then uh, that's, that's a best case scenario. Um, we're using Roma tomatoes. It's the middle of the winter here in North America. Um, you know, it's, these, these tomatoes are, are okay, um, but uh, probably not as good as what we would have in the middle of the summer. Definitely not as good as that. Um, oh, that'd be nice to cut my finger, wouldn't it? Okay. I didn't do that. So, this is the preparation work that you're going to want to have. In addition to having our um, ingredients that we're going to um, put in the, on the oven and um, saute, you're going to want some butter, and it's also good to have some Creole seasoning. So, we'll go ahead and put our pan on, and we're going to put a little bit of butter into the pan. And our first goal is going to be to simply get our um, onions and, on and tomatoes and uh, jalapeno peppers all sauteed so that they will be cooked first before we add our uh, scrambled eggs. We've got our oven, as Alexander's showing there, kicked up to about medium. And we'll go ahead and saute these first. All right, we've been sauteing our onions and jalapenos here for about five minutes. Uh, we had to add a little bit more butter. You want to, again, cook them on medium heat till the onions start to get clear. And that's usually when I'll go ahead and add the tomatoes. You can add the tomatoes earlier, but the tomatoes don't usually need to cook quite as long as the onions do and the jalapenos. And it's most important to get the onions sautéed so they're nice and soft. All right, now that we have our onion, jalapeno, and tomato combination sautéed, we're ready to add our eggs. Um, I usually like to, and I don't know if this is the right technique or not, but add a, just a little bit of milk to the eggs and go ahead and beat them with a whisk. Oops, I can see that I've got one of my yolks that didn't quite get beaten. You can use a fork if you don't have a whisk to get them beaten. And what you hope is that you're going to have all your yolks mixed with your whites so that when you go ahead and pour them in, you don't have any complete solid yolks. So go ahead and pour that on. And this is, again, still just going to be over medium heat. We're not going to change our heat setting. And then we're just going to basically scramble the eggs. So at this point, you really want to have everything else ready um, in place. This is really an important part. We have a tortilla warmer. This is an extremely cheap, from Walmart, styrofoam tortilla warmer that I think I bought in Del Rio, Texas, you know, probably uh, 20 years ago. Uh, we've just, uh, you know, continued to use it. I, hopefully it is, you know, passing health standard inspections. We haven't done that yet, but anyway, it works fine. What we're going to do, though, is uh, simply take a paper towel, which I have wet in the sink and kind of wrung out a little bit so it's not totally dripping, but a wet paper towel, and we're going to put some tortillas in here. I am really a fan of corn tortillas, but we have a few members of our family that are flour tortilla fans, so you can, you know, put 
you know, maybe four or five tortillas, something like that, in here. And usually you want to make the wet paper towel overlay on top of your tortilla warmer. And then you go ahead and put your tortilla warmer in your microwave for a short time. Usually we'll do maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds, something like that. Point. And that should be good. At some point in the cooking process, I like to add a little bit of Creole seasoning and stir that in. Um, we're actually using a smaller skillet than we usually use. It's starting to thicken up and it's just really a matter of personal preference, but I like to go ahead and wait till they're not too ready before calling it done. Tasty, and the key is having good fresh corn tortillas.